welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today, I'll be showing our friends at FabeDiets.com how to make delicious, gluten-free, sweet potato muffins with a walnut streusel on top. These little guys are a perfect way to usher in the flavors of fall. So toss a batch in the oven, brew a pot of coffee, and invite a few friends over to enjoy these tasty treats. Now to get started, first, Line a standard muffin pan with 12 paper liners and preheat the oven to 350 degrees. All right, now to make the batter, we'll need one and a half cups of gluten-free Bisquick, two eggs, one half cup of sweet potato, boiled and mashed, or if you have some left over from the night before, you can just mash that, one half cup of brown sugar, four tablespoons of butter, melted, one-third of a cup of milk, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and a half teaspoon of nutmeg. And for the streusel, we'll need one quarter cup of gluten-free Bisquick, one quarter cup of brown sugar, one half teaspoon of cinnamon, one quarter cup of chopped walnuts, and two tablespoons of cold butter. Now to make the streusel topping, in a small bowl, mix together the brown sugar, cinnamon, and bisquick. Now using a pastry cutter or a pair of knives, cut the butter into the dry mixture until the butter looks like large crumbs. Then stir in the chopped walnuts and set the bowl aside in the refrigerator. Now for the muffin batter, in a large mixing bowl, whisk together the eggs mashed sweet potato, brown sugar, butter, milk, cinnamon, and nutmeg. When everything is thoroughly combined, switch over to a rubber spatula and stir in the gluten-free Bisquick until the wet and dry ingredients are well incorporated, but don't overmix. Now evenly divide the batter between the 12 paper liners. You could use the back of a spoon to smooth out the tops. Then, spoon heaping tablespoons of the streusel mixture over the tops of each muffin and bake at 350 for 20 to 24 minutes or until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. And there you have it. Sweet potato muffins with walnut streusel on top. These will make a perfect brunch item or a snack any time of the day, whether you're on a gluten-free diet or not. I really hope you guys will give this one a try. And if you'd like to see the recipe in print, you could always visit my blog. And for more healthy recipes and tips for virtually any diet, visit my friends at FabeDiets.com. See you again soon.